Yeah, but the, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, we have a very full agenda tonight, so uh, we need to keep things moving. Uh, so the first item of business is item number one, appointments, Board of Fire Engineers. And the existing board of engineers, come up to the front. <coughs> Please. Um, well, I don't, you know, I don't know how you want to do the candidate, but at least the existing members. And we have, yeah, Milty is here, if you ask him. Yeah, Milty. Hey, Milty. Hi. Where, Where are you? Right here. Hey. Right in the center. Okay, uh, this evening we have uh, <coughs> four applicants for the Board of Fire Engineers. Uh, it's a memo, uh, we have a uh, memo April 11th, 2011, to the Board of Selectmen from Peggy Mazzola. Uh, attached with the request for appointments to the Board of Fire Engineers as follows, Milton Blood, Jonathan Kinney, Peter Shattuck, Toby Sh Tyler. There are three positions on the Board of Fire Engineers, term to expire April 30th, 2012. Okay, uh, I guess what I'd like to do, uh, if, it's, if you're in agreement, uh, I'd like to just ask each individual who's applying for this to... Um, Give us at least some initial comments on you know, why you want this position, uh, what you bring to the, the board uh, of fire engineers, uh, maybe touch upon what you see are problems, as well as uh, you know what are the positives in you know your your plan for the next year. Does that uh, make sense to my fellow selection? Yes. Sounds like a good start. Okay. All right. Um, well, we have uh, we'll just go right across the board here in no particular order. Uh, Toby. Sure. Uh, if you just slide the mic over so everyone can Toby Tyler. Um, I've been on the board since 2003. Um, been the Board of Fire Engineer, um, Chief Engineer since 2007. Um, let's see. Which, could you go over the list again what you wanted? I mean, well, it's so, so sort of an overview of you know, okay. you know, why you're applying, uh, yeah. uh, you know, um, what you're going to bring to the department pros and cons, and, and where you see the department going in the next year, under you, if, if you're appointed under your, uh, as part of the board. Um, what I bring to the department is uh, years of service. I've um, been on 20, uh, four, five years now. Um, have, I'm, I am an EMT. I've um, been an EMT since 2006. Uh, I think I bring to the department um, you know, computer skills. We've, we're up and going. Um, a lot of stuff is online now, uh, or our permits are online. Uh, inspections are all online, um, our forms and stuff like that. So we're not using the typewriter that we used to use when I first came in. Um, some things that we need to work more on, uh, or tough things that I see coming, is our budget. Um, it's very tight. <laughs> um, we don't have the help that I would like to see in the office, and um, so that's, I think, probably our biggest, or my biggest um, goal is to get the um, help we need doing that. Um, we, you know, we have three full-timers that are all paramedics. Um, the fourth full-timer is myself. I'm not a paramedic, so um, the goals of the department would be to keep us at a paramedic service. Um, I think it's been a great thing that we were that we could accomplish this this year uh, look forward to working some more okay all right uh, what I'd like to do is just have everyone see their see their little opening statements and then we can have questions sure okay uh, Peter I um, 
I would like to continue on in the Board of Fire Engineers for a couple of reasons. One is I've been here for 33 years. I've been an engineer for three years. Um, I do have a lot of uh, skills in the, in the operations of our equipment. Uh, the town right now has a few million dollars worth of equipment that is uh, in constant need of repair. Um, and I have a lot of knowledge in that field. So I'd like to continue in that capacity. Uh, I think it's an asset for the town for me to be part of the Board of Engineers because I'm also a full-time employee. So I'm here a lot. I'm around a lot. And I'm, a I'm able to go to calls just like you, were, you had another full-time person. So that, that to me is a, uh, is a, is a plus plus for the town. Um, in in uh, echoing what Toby said, I, I I think in moving the department forward, we do need to move our staff uh, to a higher level in the near future as the budgets improve with the town to get a, a little bit more coverage in that office. And um, I think it would run a little bit smoother. Uh, trying to, I'm, I see what happens is trying to do both, um, run the office with nobody there or part-time staff and the inspections and run out and do, <coughs> do what Toby's doing. I do see as a, uh, a hindrance to the, to the town and to the people that are doing work in the town, like oil burner people who come in for permits. Uh, they might have to come back. Nobody's there. So I, I do think that some more staff hours would help the department quite a bit. Um, as far as improvements, um, there's always improvements that can be made. Uh, it's hard to pick one. I'd like to see us move forward somehow with upgrading uh, Park Street Fire Station. Uh, it's it's um, it's pretty inadequate for <coughs> for what we are going to need in the future. Uh, in the future, the town is going to be looking to go with a strong chief, and I think in the meantime, while we're getting ready for that we should be preparing uh, structures to house full-time staff or some overnight staff because it's it's very inadequate right now and basically really can't do it comfortably. If somebody's staying over there to put some hours in, they're sleeping on a couch or they're resting on a couch or waiting for a call to come in in a building that the heat isn't proper. There's no real good facility to make some lunch, things like that. So we have a lot of work to do before we can move forward with um, taking another leap when I think we're not ready. So I'd like to work on that. And that's, um, that's some of it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jonathan? Uh, Jonathan, I've been working on the Board of Engineers now for about a year and a half. I've uh, been on the department for over 12 years. Uh, about a year and a half ago, there was a vacancy. Um, I put my name in, and frankly, you guys kind of took a risk on me. So, you know, it doesn't have the necessarily have the um, officer experience that we'd like, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna give him a shot. And uh, six months later, you reappointed me, and uh, thought, you know, he's doing a good job. Let's give him a year to really see what he's worth. And I think it paid off. I think it paid off for the town and for uh, you guys putting your your vote into me. Um, a couple of things I took notes because I, I don't, I, I don't want to get too off. Uh, I've completed the Fire Officer 1 course at the Academy. Uh, that was huge, uh, you know, big training. Um, I was ver uh, very aware that there were some, you know, limitations in, in my experience as an officer. So I went and got the training I needed, and I've had a year to practice it and use it and um, done well. I feel confident as an incident commander. I feel comfortable at uh, fire scenes and leading and making decisions on the fire ground. Um, my biggest thing, my biggest piece on the fire, fire department has been training. And uh, you know, I'm a professional educator, it's what I do. Uh, I believe wholeheartedly and very, very strongly that training is key. We don't have the fires every every other day or every week or every month that we, we did maybe 20, 30 years ago. Um, you know, we have a lot of calls, but we don't get the big ones like we used to. And, it makes training even more important. It's 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 just uh, absolutely necessary to have a good, solid training program. 
Uh, as deputy, I've, I've worked hard this year to, to uh, get all the companies training at the same level, working on the same skills. Um, uh, it's been really important. I feel very good this year about that. As far as um, accomplishments, the Fire 1 and 2 program that's come to town, uh, we, have, we have 12, well, 11 firefighters, including myself, taking the course uh, to get certified as, at the Fire 1 and 2 level. We have nine other firefighters in town that are already certified at that level. Um, so, it'll, you know, that that's the basic, it's like basic training for firefighters. And all of us that have been on the department for years, we have that level of training, but not at the certification level. So this really, you know, ups the standards that we're going to be working under. Um, uh, one of my goals for this this coming year, if I, if I am to get the position, is to create regular drills that utilize th that training so that for the guys that weren't able to take the Fire 1 and 2 program yet, now we have a whole group of guys that are skilled in that area that we can continue to grow the department. And, and uh, um, it's a lot to ask of our, our guys to volunteer their time to do a 180-hour course. So I, I certainly don't have that expectation for every firefighter, but I do, I do feel that the more guys that are trained at that level, the, the more effective we are. Um, one, of the things, one of the goals I have for next year is to review and update the, our standard operating guidelines. Um, we've talked about it for some time. Some of them are absolutely where they need to be. Some of them are the papers yellowed and, you know, they were typed on that old typewriter. So, you know, take a, we need to take a look at those and see are, we, are our guidelines in par with the level that we're at now. Um, and the other piece that I want to be able to do in the next year is uh, it's been a lot of talk about developing some regional trainings with our surrounding towns, uh, rapid intervention, water supply, we utilize mutual aid and go to mutual aid all the time, and uh, I've talked to the, some of the other chiefs, and they're very interested in going forward with some regional training. So uh, that's good for everybody. So that's, uh, that's it. Okay. Milty, uh, I guess if you can slide. Yeah. Can everyone want to get Milty? Uh, a lot of folks, I'm sure, are watching us at home. 